I will be fighting on October 30th on Cage Leg C13. Uh, it's going to go ahead up in Dublin, all, all going well. Um, in the featherweight division, I'm up against somebody called Francis O'Brien. Uh, he fights out of full power, I think it's full power MMA. Uh, experienced guy, talented, you know, so obviously have to train hard and get ready for this anyways, you know. To, to, to be honest with you, it was first, I, I was first told that the fight was going to happen in November 2019. Uh, so camp started just kind of after Christmas, um, had a great three month camp and then a couple of days beforehand lockdown came so obviously that kind of put everything on pause. Um, back now what two months is it and same thing then but like camp is going great, it's fantastic out here six times a week you know strength and conditioning and your, your double days you know your Wednesday morning, Friday evenings you know the whole lot like and uh, yeah it's, it's going excellent, excellent way it's going well can't complain you know fitness is back now again you know since post covid like you know thankfully didn't lose too much obviously the three months before that was really good so that's kind of stood to me but yeah really good it's gone really good now like, like in the fight camps you'll start off like especially post post lockdown it was a case of like doing you know kind of get yourself in the first few weeks more so like just get the body used to it again uh avoid injuries now I, I did a bit over the, the lockdown myself and was doing a bit of running, a bit of weights, that kind of stuff, just to kind of keep myself in check. Um, so yeah, that definitely stood to me, but like normally then you, you can't really get wrestling fitness without wrestling, so we all kind of knew that, but like two, three weeks in, it was well on the way there, but like definitely, it's definitely picking up now. We're into the last four, four and a half weeks now before it. And Do you find your mindset changing from when you started as the intensity of the training goes up, do you find yourself kind of switching gears? Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, but I, I think part of that's to do with as well. Like there's five of us from the same gym on this fight card. Like you know, so you come in here on a Saturday. Like you, you can't really kind of go out take a half day when you've got everybody else has the same goal as myself. Like you know, like we all have our opponents. They're all good opponents. You know, like so, show them the respect first and foremost. And then it's just a case of like best possible version of you has to show up like every single day at every single training session and. To be honest with you, I like that. I, I like having a goal. I like, you know, like having something there. Like, you know, you just, it just, it gets you going. Like, you know, so, yeah, yeah it's definitely, definitely the mindset has definitely changed. And like, <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's, there's a lot now these days with like, you know, I suppose everything's recorded and everything's online. So like, it, it's, it's in that way, it, it's great. Like you can see a lot of stuff on him. Like, you know, uh, he, he will be more experienced than myself now. Like, you know, so he is definitely, he's very talented to be fair to him now. Like, you know, and it's just a case of, but that that's good in one way because you kind of you have an idea of what your kind of game plan is going to be like you know whereas you know that it, yeah th th there's definitely a bit there online anyway is like you know so like whether your your training is you know geared right towards that or not you, you take confidence from it anyway is like you know you make yourself believe it but it's a lot of it's mental as well like but yeah no no hundred percent no it, it's it's handy to have it what is it if it's Mondays would be kind of uh, ground game then Tuesdays you'll have ground or jits. Wednesdays is wrestling, kickboxing slash sparring at the end. Um, Thursday, jits again. Friday, wrestling. Saturday, sparring. And then the options there for your Wednesday, strength and conditioning. Friday, strength and conditioning. And Saturday morning, strength and conditioning. So, like, obviously, with like young family and whatnot and everything there, you can't come to every one of them. But I'd be out here about six times a week and then do my own stuff at the moment. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's very fun on. But look, you, you don't mind doing it because like it, it, you're not in camp every single day like you're not like you know you're just you're, you're only ever in camp when you're in camp so it's just a case of like if it's going to be for two months put the two months in like you know remember fall to the side where your head is don't put your hand there and you got to be controlling something Paul. right i want to see your hands on the mat okay so now start spreading them out or get to a side try and get to the side yeah now you want to remember your head that's it, good man, that's it. Don't worry about that. You know, puppy punches won't finish yet, but strangling him will. You've been cornered by Kev before, right? In fights? Yeah, to be honest with you, ever since I've I've, I've joined like MMA, starting off with Strange Wolves and out in here, um, I've done a lot of like grappling, novice, everything, and Kev has cornered me for every single one, so like... How it, is it, how reassuring is it to have him in the corner? Oh, absolutely, massively, like, you know, it's it's... Like there's just a trust thing there now, whereas like he knows my game more than anybody. Like he's probably had more hands on with me than anyone in the last couple of years. Um, he does my strength and conditioning. He knows that. Uh, obviously, he he he'd be my head coach. So, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's very reassuring having someone like Kev, especially when he's so experienced and like 
between his own fighting career and then uh, he, he's been training for so long like you know so like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah massively massively do you get nervous before fights the day before the week before maybe the morning of how does nerves settle in with you I think so yeah it, it, it's, it, it's kind of got to the stage now where it's like you know is it nerves is it excitement it's kind of been about like you know but it's 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 just competition like you know you just you kind of get yourself up for it like you know and it's 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 part and parcel of it. you nearly look forward to that feeling like you know so it's it's there would be because obviously you're going into a cage to fight somebody so like that's not normal like you know but at the same time you're kind of like this is awesome like like there's loads of people that watch the sport but like only a fraction of them get to compete and it's like so I, I, I definitely consider myself to be lucky but obviously it's due to a lot of the hard work that's been put in over the last couple of years as well like but yeah I, I think it's case the better the camp goes the less the nerves are like you know so yeah and you know what it's, it's so far so good I know this camp has been quite good like yeah I can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait. It's, it's, it's fight camp has nearly been, you know, unofficially started since last November and off and on between break. It's just like Jesus, you know. It's been a year now. Like you know, just let us compete. You know, that's all we want to do. Like you know, same as any athlete. I'm sure everyone else now is the exact same. But like, if you're out here like six times a week, you just need that outlet at the end of it. Like you know, so I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, shout out to Cage Legacy like and Declan for running the shows I can give us something to do as well like you know but um, yeah I can't wait right. when you come back you're just here you're just because at this moment of time she's bashing my head in probably yeah. okay that's all from here now your elbows not your hands your elbows do all the work yeah. so I'm just keeping her where she is so I can hip out and start coming in that it makes total sense when you go back here and frame I can't yeah. frame when I'm up they can't come this way well my hips up yeah. well that way if I'm framing off her here she can't come back this way yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there was all kinds of stuff going on.